People within a dysfunctional family may not even realize that they've been assigned and have to act out this role. They may begin to accept this treatment as normal. Welcome back to Stop, Look, and Listen with Samantha. So first we're gonna talk about the chemically dependent role. This person has an addiction and addictions don't just show up out of nowhere. They're usually put in place to cover up and cope with trauma that was never really dealt with. Addiction, alcoholism, is a disease. So it's not that these people wake up and say, hey, this is how I wanna live my life. Next, we have the abuser. They want the victim to believe that the reason they are being abused is because of their own actions. If anybody says anything differently that they have an issue, it's immediately punished. There's intimidation. There might be breaking things, screaming, physical abuse, emotional abuse, anything to get you to stop. And because of this cycle of generational trauma, they may not even recognize that these issues are abnormal because in their household where they grew up, this was absolutely normal behavior. It's expected that they are forgiven. They may admit at the time, I lost my temper, I'll never do it again. But what you see is a continued cycle of repeat. It never actually stops. And even if it stops in one way, what usually happens is it transforms into a different cycle of abuse, which may be going on smear campaigns, kind of controlling who likes or does not like this person, isolation tricks, kind of more secretive in behind the scenes abuse. Next, you have the enabler. Now this could be played by the role of a parent or also by a child. This person believes that they can fix the abuser. They tiptoe around and make sure that the rules are put in place. Don't make this person angry. You know if you do this, it's going to make them angry. You have to stay within your line. It's your fault if they get upset. They may even enforce the abuse to make sure that it doesn't come back on them. They may also manipulate and stir up the abuse, actually start conversations to get the abuser to attack one of the children, and then come in as the consoler. So they light the match under the person that's easy to ignite, they step back, let it happen, and then come in to console, which kind of gives them this feeling of being needed and loved. My next video is gonna come out on Thursday, and we're gonna start to discuss the roles of the children in the family. I hope that you're able to subscribe today, like, and share this video with your friends.